Hi and welcome to Slide Dynamic. In this overview we wanted to provide some insight to a new menu we've created that builds on the core competency of the Slide Dynamic PowerPoint add-in to quickly create an interactive table of contents right inside PowerPoint. So I've already created a hundred slide presentation just to show as an example and it's less around the content and more around the concept. I can't stress that. We're not presentation designers. Anyway, um, to quickly add the new menu, which is styled on Prezi, and there seems to be a bit debate between the two technologies, you simply select the template from the PowerPoint add-in, and this basically applies the flash menu framework to each slide. And in the next step, uh, you simply select which slides you want to include within the flash menu. So I'm just going to leave it with all, but you can deselect them quite quickly. And this just takes each slide's title and a thumbnail image so you can visually find which slide you're interested in presenting more quickly. And then just to complete the process, we just quickly save and close the presentation. And then when I reopen it, hopefully we'll give you some insight as to its function and how it works. So I'll just reopen the PowerPoint and I'm just going to go and present that. So what we've done is we've added the trigger icon and we just used a hand in this case but it could easily be any other type of visual reference and we could go and present as we normally would sequentially and at any point if we need to bring up the interactive menu uh, we can just simply click on it and you have every slide visible and to move around all 100 slides and simply move the mouse and we like flash so to zoom in effect but actually you're going to the slide itself uh, you simply click on that image of that slide and then we could carry on presenting and if we needed to navigate to another one so we have a Twitter account um, you can simply click on it now in the menu itself uh, we've tried to keep it as clean and simple as possible. So in the bottom left hand corner, actually down here, you'll see that as we mouse over each slide available to us, we can see the, uh, the slides title. And we've kept the core function of the template in the bottom right hand corner. Uh, one example of that is to quickly go to a slide, let's say slide 48. And if we're taking a natural break within the presentation, we can simply save that slides view in the same way you would bookmark a page uh, on a web page and we can close the whole presentation down and then at any point after some given time when we come back to the presentation half an hour later or whenever uh, we can reopen it and rather than having to sort of navigate to find where we left off, we can simply open the presentation, go back and present, bring back the menu, and instead of uh, hitting the, the save button, we hit the restore button, and then we're back at the point we'd, uh, we'd left off, and then we can just carry on presenting. So that was it. We'd really be interested in any feedback or any critiques or creative criticism, and thanks very much for taking the time to watch.